English. I need a coffee. an AeroPress? Have you even heard of an AeroPress? Hey guys, I'm Ember November. Welcome to my ugly kitchen. And today is all about our AeroPress. In this video, I am going to show you how to use an AeroPress. And I am also going to give you pros and cons to it. So let's get to it. It's actually really simple to use an AeroPress. First, you need boiling water. Put in the filter. Attach parts like so. Take a heaping scoop of your coarse ground coffee. Dump it in there and then Pour the hot water slowly over the coffee, all the way to the top. You're supposed to pour it in and they recommend stirring it. We got the kit version and in the kit uh, they have like a stir stick, but we lost it. We lost it during van life days, so I, I don't know where that went. So then we started stirring with a spoon and then we eventually got to the point where we don't even stir and it turns out great. We kind of use like pour the water in a stirring fashion so the water just does it maybe we're just like super lazy i don't know you could stir it if you want then you let it just go slowly down this might be like a point of impatience for some people <laughs> however since i'm doing this in the morning i'll usually put away the dry dishes from the night before that's like an easy slow way for me to tidy up a little bit while my coffee's doing its thing once it goes down the first time then pour another and be very careful on the size of your mug because we often, if we're tired, we will just spill. It'll just overflow. You can also like pick it up and check to see where you're at in your levels. And then after that one is when you can start plunging down the coffee and it pushes it all through the filter and you just, in the end, you get this amazingly strong, strong cup of coffee. <laughs> It's so good. <sighs> and that leads us straight into my pro and cons list. Because the very first pro right there, I just said it. This makes the strongest, tastiest cup of coffee I've ever had. And it's like really smooth. You know how in a normal coffee maker, it just feels like very liquidy, very watery. This is like full, rich, textured coffee. It is so good. <laughs> And it's hard to go back to drip coffee after you have this. Pro number two is you use way less grounds when you use AeroPress. Ugh, compared to like the basket filter for normal coffee makers and you put so much coffee grounds in here. This AeroPress you use like that one heaping scoop like I showed you. And that's it for each cup. But the thing is, you're like, oh, I want to have like three cups of coffee. When you do this strong of coffee, you do not need that much. <laughs> it uses such little amounts of coffee and it saves you money. Because <laughs> coffee, good coffee, is kind of expensive. Pro number three is AeroPress works really well for off-grid situations. If you don't have access to electricity, let's say you're camping or like us, we were doing van life and all you need is boiling water. You don't need power for your coffee pot. So that means you could use a fire, you could use it, your propane stove top, that sort of thing. And it actually, it worked really well for us for van life. It was simple and easy and you could control exactly how much you want to make. But now onto the cons. And there are, there are, I came up with three cons. Number one, this is a non-automated process. I almost was gonna say it's a longer process, but technically that's not true. It takes less time than a coffee maker doing its thing. However, you can set a coffee maker. Whereas with AeroPress, you kind of have to be present for the majority of the time. At our old job, we had to be there at six and then it changed to, we have to be there at 5.30 in the morning. There is no way we're having a nice leisurely morning. We set the coffee maker the night before, get up, pour your coffee into the thermos and you're out of there. So, if you have really hectic, fast-paced mornings, this might not work out the best for you. It's a bit more involved than simply setting a timer on your coffee maker. 
Con number two, it can be rather messy with this process. <laughs> we will spill. <laughs> Coffee grounds go everywhere when you like dump it into the trash, it can go everywhere. So it can be a little bit messy. And lastly, I was kind of grasping at straws to find a third con for this. It can be hard to find the right size filters occasionally. These are the filters. The kit comes with this nice little case for them. And they're the unbleached ones, so this doesn't harm your body. <laughs> we have noticed some stores will carry them, but sometimes it's just hard to find them. We just order ours from Amazon and it comes in like this huge, actually I'll go get it. So they come in like a bulk pack and it's like individually and this, this will fit perfectly into this. So <laughs> that's actually really nice. Very thoughtful how they did that. So just keep an eye on that. You might want to stock up and hold tight to those. I hope that answered some of your questions about what the heck an AeroPress is and is it worth it. I say yes. AeroPress coffee is the best coffee I've ever had. I would recommend getting an AeroPress. You go through less coffee, you save money. It just might not work for you if you have a really crazy fast-paced morning. <sighs> Enjoy. That right there. That right there, that's the stuff right there.